University Board of Trustees approved a conditional tuition hike of 5% if the Governor Jerry Brown's tax initiative is rejected by voters. 23 BC's Carlos Correa is in our newsroom tonight with what this means to students. Carlos? Aaron, it could mean the difference between having more money in your pocket for basic needs like food and gasoline or cutting back dramatically in order to survive. In an 11 to 3 vote, the CSU Board of Trustees has approved to raise tuition in the event Proposition 30 fails in November. Prop 30, it's a big deal. Whether it gets voted for or not, I don't really know, but as a student, I would really like to see us being helped. Governor Jerry Brown's tax initiative is a measure that temporarily increases the state sales tax rate for all taxpayers and the personal income tax rates for upper income taxpayers. It provides additional revenue to pay for programs funded in the state budget. Investing in ourselves and stuff is a lot more important than like, you know, spending the money on other stuff. If voters approve the measure, it means Cal State would roll back a 9% tuition hike, refunding tuition checks to thousands of students. Well, that'd be great because then we would have more money, extra money in our pocket for art materials and supplies. If voters say no to the proposition, students will see a 5% tuition hike for the winter and spring 2013 terms. It would leave students like Enemirio Galdan, who's been out of work for five years, with a tough decision to make. It's very hard. It's economically not feasible. The cost of tuition has made it very difficult to, you know, uh, it dips into your financial aid, it dips into your cost of living. Uh, it just has made it very difficult and unaffordable. Although students hope Proposition 30 passes, most won't know their financial futures until November. It's like day one, and it increases. That's more money in our pockets, you know, and it's harder as it is being a college student, you know, try to survive, pass these classes, and educate ourselves. It's even it's, it's stressful. Many students registered to vote do plan on making their voices heard, and they're encouraging others on campus to do the same on the November ballot. In the newsroom, Carlos Correa, 20.